What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is the BeeBot AquaSense Pro. This is the ultimate robotic pool vacuum. Not only that it's a robotic pool vacuum, it is also a robotic pool skimmer as well. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Here's the manual. This is a thick manual. Quick user's guide. I like that it has the controls on the robotic vacuum and on the app as well. This is the QR code you scan for the app. Short press to turn on the robotic pool vacuum and long press to turn it off. The controls on the robotic pool vacuum. One button is quick mode, cleans the floor once and it's done. Press button two, that is standard mode, it cleans the floor, walls and water line. Button three is for power. Tap turn it on and hold to turn it off. Press button 4 which is next to the eco button and that is pro mode. It cleans the floor once, the walls and the water line and also the surface. And if you press eco mode button at the end by default it cleans the floor every two days. Factory reset, press and hold button 2 and 3 and 4 for 10 seconds to restore factory settings. Alright, so what else is on the bottom right here? This is for the dock looks like. And looks like this is the dock itself. Here's the rubber feet on the bottom right here. And then this as well has rubber feet. So let's go ahead and slide those on. Make sure the rubber feet are facing the same direction as these rubber feet. And it says make sure you wipe down every time you use this dock. AquaSense Pro, let's go ahead and add that. And then right here, you wanna turn on the robotic vacuum by pressing the button right here, just tap it and wait for it to boot up. Once all the lights cycle, then go ahead and press and hold the quick button and the power button right here for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five and then the blue light will start to flash on here. Next, at this screen, you want to go ahead and select you've seen the flashing blue light and hit next. All right, let's go ahead and connect. Right here, you want to select BeatBot AquaSense and select Always Connect. Next, you want to go ahead and go back. Now right here, it is trying to connect, but we are connected. Just make sure your phone and the robotic pool vacuum is within one meter of your wireless router. We got a green check mark, it is connected and hit done. There are some updates that we need to apply. Select auto update, confirm. It tells you how long it's been cleaning and how much surface it cleaned. And there is notifications that alert your phone when the, about the robotic pool vacuum status. It looks like I have about 30% battery life and according to the description on the AquaSense Pro, it has a five hour battery life on full cleaning mode and a nine hour battery life on surface cleaning mode. And as you can see, I have a lot of pollen sitting at the bottom of the pool. Even though I have a screened in pool patio, still pollen gets in there. And look at all that surface debris you can see right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We have the hook to retrieve it out of the water. And let's go ahead and open up and see the basket. It's a huge basket. Let's go ahead and open this up. I really like the clarifying agent. If you have a cloudy pool, this will clear it up. It naturally clarifies cloudy water. Effective eliminates oil and scum. Compatible with all sanitizers. It reduces the presence of excessive metals and it boosts efficiency of salt generators. And it says it has a 30 day life once you open it up and insert it.
right here, there's these two water jets. So when it's on the surface, it can navigate. Here's the charging pads right here. Make sure you clean them properly before you set it on the charging dock. These roller brushes are changeable. You can easily remove them and put them back on. And right here, I have fully charged it. It's at 100%. My signal is really good. It tells me the temperature outside and it tells you the status. Right now it's in standby mode and click on that. It tells you the cleaning record. tells you the maintenance so I only used it once so far just to test it out so I can get familiar with it and let's go ahead and select the mode so we have quick mode standard mode and pro mode we're gonna do pro mode which is you know a full deep cleaning and it cleans the floor walls water line and the surface so basically this robotic pool vacuum would replace your robotic pool skimmer and your robotic pool vacuum and drop it in the pool so it takes about like less than 10 seconds for it to turn on and start you know moving around So I have some leaves right here. These are about like two to three inch leaves. I'm gonna throw it into the pool and see if it grabs all of them.
So before you put it on the charger, you want to make sure you clean the pads because it could cause issues. So clean the pads really good. Make sure they're completely dry. And just clean around it too as well so the water doesn't drip into the pads. Let's go ahead and just set it down over here. Once you place it on the dock, you can see the LED bar. It will start flashing, letting you know the status of the charge. Overall, I'm really satisfied with this product. It does a good job. It's very thorough. Got most of the leaves, and I'm happy. And I say it looks pretty good. Looks like glass.